Streams in the Desert. Volume 1. By Elizabeth Kalman. October 30th. Let us run with patience. Hebrew 12 1. To run with patience is a very difficult thing. Running is apt to suggest the absence of patience, the eagerness to reach the goal. We commonly associate patience with lying down. We think of it as the angel that guards the couch of the invalid. Yet I do not think the invalid's patience the hardest to achieve. There is a patience which I believe to be harder, the patience that can run. To be down in the time of grief, to be quiet under the stroke of adverse fortune, implies a great strength, but I know of something that implies a strength greater still, it is the power to work under a stroke, to have a great weight at your heart and still to run, to have a deep anguish in your spirit and still perform the daily task. It is a Christ-like thing. Many of us would nurse our grief without crying if we were allowed to nurse it. The hard thing is that most of us are called to exercise our patience, not in bed, but in the street. We are called to bury our sorrows not in lethargic quiescence, but in active service, in the exchange, in the workshop, in the hour of social intercourse, in the contribution to another's joy. There is no burial of sorrow so difficult as that. It is the running with patience. This was thy patience, O son of man. It was at once a waiting and a running, a waiting for the goal, and a doing of the lesser work meantime. I see thee at Cana turning the water into wine lest the marriage feast should be clouded. I see thee in the desert feeding a multitude with bread just to relieve a temporary want. Ah, all the time, thou were bearing a mighty grief, unshared, unspoken. Men ask for a rainbow in the cloud, but I would ask more from thee. I would be, in my cloud, myself a rainbow, a minister to others' joy. My patience will be perfect when it can work in the vineyard. George Matheson When all our hopes are gone. Tis well our hands must keep toiling on for others' sake. For strength to bear is found in duty done, and he is best indeed who learns to make the joy of others cure his own heartache.